Hi everyone, so welcome to my stocking filler gift guide. I hope you enjoyed the first edition of my Christmas gift guide. This is just going to be little stocking fillers that um, you can give to the women in your life. These are pretty much all kind of beauty related I think, apart from a few little bits of jewellery, but um, <laughs> they're pretty much all beauty related. So the first thing is you need to kind of remember they have to be kind of like nice little pretty things. I think that's kind of the point of stocking fillers. So things like, for example, this is the Marilyn Monroe Luscious Soap Star. This is just, you know, your average bar soap, but the packaging and the name and it just makes it something so pretty and lovely. And um, you can buy these on eBay. That's where I got mine from. But they're just a nice little gift to give somebody. The next thing is a glossy box. Now, um, what I think is if you've got items in your glossy box that you no longer use or you won't use, they can make really great stocking fillers. Because um, if you buy someone just one glossy box for Christmas or a, or a year's subscription to glossy box maybe, that's a really, really lovely gift, but it's a bit big to be in the stocking filler. So, for example, in November's glossy box, um, then you get little things like the little perfume samples, which I think make a brilliant stocking filler. The Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, great size, and a little hand cream, and that kind of thing. Things that are just small that you could use as stocking fillers. I'm not going to use any of those as stocking fillers because I want them, but um, you could. It would be a nice idea. Then we've got, um, if you've got anyone in your life who owns a Pandora bracelet, this is what the Pandora bracelets look like. Um, lots of other brands do them, but Pandora is kind of the main one. And I've only got three beads on mine because they're so expensive, I can't ever afford them. And they're just a really, really pretty um, bracelet, and you get to choose which beads you have on them. So getting someone a few beads for their Pandora bracelet is a really, really nice little stocking filler. They vary in price from kind of, you know, 13 to 40 pounds. That's kind of the cheapest and the most expensive. But um, to get someone a couple of beads is just a really nice little gift, and I'm sure they'd really, really appreciate you helping them fill up their Pandora bracelet. Then another kind of fill-up idea is if you've got someone who you know owns MAC palettes, to buy them single eyeshadows to fill their palette in. So for example, this is what a single eyeshadow looks like. This is Sketch by MAC. And it's kind of like a deep plum colour. So this is Sketch. And you get Sketch and you just pop it in your palette. Magnetised. And it just fits in and then you can help people fill up their palette. This is um, my kind of neutrals palette and it's not completely full because I kind of never get around to buying them. But um, that's a really, really nice little addition. Then we have all kind of, ah, apart from one, the VO5 Miracle Concentrate is something that I absolutely adore. And this makes a great, great little stocking filler. It's a nice little neat size. Just pop it in. Great little thing for someone to try out. Then we've got all makeup things. So the first one I think would make an amazing stocking filler is the Benefit They're Real Mascara. I adore this. This is the most amazing mascara ever. Um, this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of like got spikes on the end. And the packaging is beautiful as well. And it's just the nicest, nicest, nicest mascara. So that would make a lovely, lovely stocking filler because it is quite expensive. It's around £18, so it's a nice little thing to have. Then we have another quite pricey thing, and it's one of the YSL Rouge Velup lipsticks. This is in number 13, which is this kind of lovely pinky coral shade. Mine's a bit smushed because it won't fit back down to push it. But um, this is a really, really nice gift because it's a little kind of item of luxury that you might not buy for yourself because they're quite expensive, but just beautiful, beautiful packaging and just beautiful to have. So I really, really like this. Then we've got two blushes. The blushes I'd recommend as stocking fillers are Topshop's Blush in Pop. Bright pink, nice packaging. Just a really nice little all-rounder. And any of the bourgeois blushes, because they're very little and kind of quite shimmery, and just a really cute little touch to go in someone's stocking. 
then we have a MAC Paint Pot. These are my absolute favourite eye bases and for the makeup lover in you, these are just amazing. Nice little size to just pop in and they come in a different variation of colours. This is Bear Study, which is a nice kind of champagne colour. So I love those. Then um, I've got two lip glosses. We've got Revlon's Coral Reef, which is my all-time favourite, and Max Lip Gloss in Electric Fuchsia, because it's a kind of purple fuchsia colour, and just something a little bit different and a little bit exciting to find in your stocking on Christmas morning. And then, last but not least, I've just got a couple of little options of nail polishes that I thought were quite festive. So we've got Sex and the City Nail Polish in Miranda, which is this kind of nice purpley shimmer colour. Then Barry M's um foil which is the beautiful gold one barry m's raspberry and barry m's uh it's not barry m sorry nails ink vila street which is a beautiful perfect christmas red so those are the kind of basic ideas i think that are great for stocking fillers if any of you have got other ideas for little stocking fillers like little things like pretty chocolates and that kind of thing are always great too but i haven't got any in um obviously because I'd eat them but um, I haven't got any in so I can't show you those but I hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any other recommendations or anything like that or there's any other kind of gift guides you want um, like I said I won't do a men's one because I'd be terrible at it but if there's anything like that then definitely definitely let me know and I'll be happy to oblige and I will see you all soon and hope you have a great day bye bye